sure we're live, kicking in, and we'll do our little intro. Make sure the sound is coming up. We haven't been in the kitchen for a while, gang. Uh, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another live stream. Now, what we're going to do today is uh, basically I have a whole bunch of stuff lined up to show you guys. And it's all related, almost all related to a previous video we put out. Let me show you the previous video. Um, it was about a month ago, month and a half ago, a couple of months ago, where it's in the food playlist. Um, if you're following us on YouTube and if you do a search, you can find it. It was basically us um, sort of making a video of showing you how what I do with the harvest every year of uh, every year basically harvest mint right i cut it up and hang it or just dry it on um, on towels and stuff right and then we end up jarring it and this year the harvest was really good we got a lot of great mint so i ended up harvesting a fair bit so i hung the stuff to dry and we ended up making a video of uh, showing you guys how i jar uh, the mint right and we have usually what i do in the kitchen i keep the stuff uh, the jars of mint either here or somewhere else and i if they're sitting out i put a rag on it so the mint the jars don't get hit with sun right and the rest of them we put in the cupboard we got a fair bit of uh, jarred mint that we're going to use so the mainstream for this the food stream is going to be me going through about a few different dishes where we end up using the dry mint okay and one of the things one of the places that i do end up using mint a lot is related to another video we put out which was a asmr math video where i showed you uh, the main types of teas i end up making right and we did sort of a little bit of mathematics a little bit of commutations per permutations and commutorics and uh, sort of looked at the different combinations of tea that we can make right and one of the, one of the ones was mint and that's the video oops this is the video where we put that together sort of an asmr food related video sort of overlapping with the mathematics right so this stream that we're doing right now what we're going to do in the kitchen with the dried mint is sort of related to both of these videos okay that's my little intro if you're watching this um if you, there's a couple of people already alive, I said there's more than a couple of people already arrived. Welcome to the live stream, gang. And uh, if you're watching this live, um, I'm just doing a little short intro for people who are watching this uh, video on another platform, maybe BitChute, YouTube, or somewhere else that we're going to load it on as well, right? Uh, sort of this stream is sort of related to these two videos here, okay? And what I want to do right now is boil some water and make some straight up mint tea. I've been drinking. Uh, to set up for the stream i've been drinking my persian black tea that i showed you guys we make but since the theme for this stream is mint tea i'm gonna change up the tea right and uh, we're just gonna make some straight out uh, mint tea okay so let me take these uh two videos down actually let me read the comments see who's popped in zare how are you doing brother <laughs> how's life all true how you, how you doing man doing good doing good looking forward to the stream it's been a while since we went into the kitchen right um people have been saying they really wanted to do some food videos uh for the last little while here let me take these down because um that way everyone knows what, what it is that we're doing i love your shirt thanks man <laughs> it's actually a design that my nephew made I made some tea last night with uh, orange peels and unfiltered honey. Oh, nice, man. Orange peels. Uh, this is, uh, lemon and orange peels is fantastic as well with tea, right? As far as, far as the shirt goes, yeah, my nephew, it's sort of, uh, there isn't too many of these around. They're sort of custom made. Um, he does uh, custom designs and stuff too. So we made these shirts a long time ago. Uh, and it's one of my favorite shirts to wear. I think we've done one other cooking video with the shirt on as well let's put the water on let's throw this water on here boil this for now 
and I'll show you the angles, uh, the angles that we're going to be using. Oh, by the way, if you want to, here, I'll show you his artwork as well. My nephews uh, send you to his website if you're interested. Uh, Renon, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, glad I could finally catch you one of these days. Ah, nice, man. You made a nice stream. You're making it too. I've really been looking forward to coming back into the kitchen. Um, like I like I mentioned, um, I forgot the train of thought. Like I mentioned, the, there was been a lot of people that were asking me to do more food videos. We sort of stepped away from food and we're doing comic books and whatnot. Uh, by the way, the, the design here is... Uh, <laughs> put it over here that's his instagram page right there okay and you can find and this character is called esteban and he does this type of artwork it's, it's pretty unique it's pretty it's very nice artwork right so if you're interested in checking out his work and i'm pretty sure he'd be cool with doing designs for shirts and stuff too if you're interested okay uh instagram.com backslash nas okay and this guy's name is uh, esteban <laughs> this character okay uh, aside from that, um, a lot of people here, let me show you the angles here, the camera angles we're going to use. Uh, this is the camera angles. This is the T right here that I'm putting on. We're just going to boil that. Okay. So we're going to boil the T and let me do this. There's a list of, uh, how many things am I going to show you? Check this out. Uh, here, let me take down. And we're not going to use this element here. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to put a cutting board here. I'm going to show you the work that we're going to do. Uh, because there's a couple of cook stuff that we're going to make. Uh, two, three. There's, there's, we're going to use this element for cooking and this element for cutting and prepping. And there's a couple of cold dishes that I'm going to show you that I use the mint for a lot, a lot okay uh let me check this out hey chicho nice to catch the stream i love the streams and the videos keep up the good work. oh will do biggie will do thank you for being here uh kitchen streams love cooking so it's a fun stream to be on i i do enjoy this a lot and it gives me i like multitasking so i end up multitasking a lot okay let me turn off this guy for now okay we leave this on because any any place that we're getting something done, we're gonna leave the camera going most likely. Okay. I see a bucket of honey. Yeah. <laughs> One bucket of honey. Honey, I've been going through a lot of honey, man. And uh, what we end up doing is we take the buckets of honey, uh, and then this is our honey use jar, right? So when this guy goes down, you can see this down pretty low now i don't know how many we've gone through so from the new batch and then we fill it up again so this is the one that's open and we have a whole bunch of honey all over the place we already gave uh, uh for those of you that don't know we did uh, a honey jarring video um that we ended up doing and in the honey jarring video let me show you one other thing in the in the honey jarring video uh, we already gave away one of the jars as a present to someone, right? And in the honey jarring video, uh, I had the persimmon sitting where the camera is right now because we were shooting the video from this side, right? And I showed you guys persimmons and I said, you want to, you know, I have a whole bunch of these, as you can tell, and I had to move them over there because I got the camera and the mic and everything set up here, right? And I said, you know, I brought you the persimmon and it was pretty hard and this is pretty hard right and i said you have to sort of wait until they're really ripe for you to eat them right and they're slowly starting to ripen take a look at this and well slowly this one's done right take a look this is how ripe you want it i want to show you how squishy this is right uh let me go like this hopefully you can see it right this is perfect and you know what we're gonna eat this <laughs> Uh, I got one in the fridge. I'm gonna eat the cold one. I'm gonna take this one, put it in the fridge, and then bring the one from the fridge that's cold. Look at this one. Take a look. 
So I'm going to crack this one open. Okay. Um, and I'm going to keep the door closed. Okay. But what you see there, the plants you see there, those are the plants that we just did a cleaning from the patio and we brought them whatever plants that we have on the indoors. Not all of them. Some plants we take out for in the spring and bring in in the fall. So in the sunroom, I got a whole bunch of plants that I've brought in from the outside. And, um, you know, we go through cleaning and sort of trimming and stuff when we bring them in. They just brought them in, you know, a couple of days ago. And it's been raining, so the pots are really heavy. So I'm going to wait until the pots dry out a little bit. Okay. So let me close it. Maybe uh, we'll do... Uh, We'll do uh, a video of cleaning the pots. I'm just gonna catch up with some of the comments that are being that have been said. I see we got a ha ha chicho. Love catching you live. Awesome. Nice to have you, Jack. Nice to have you. Yay. It's the <laughs> calm guy with the dope beard. <laughs> I think Chicho is even happier talking about food and he is about com I food and comics, man. Those are the two things that well, I love a few different things, but food and comics, uh, those are two amazing things uh, to talk about and to do, right? So let me bring this out here. Okay. Let's turn on this camera as well. Check it out. Let's bring in our persimmon, right? Okay. I'm going to bring out a knife. Let's bring this out. Let's bring a little spoon. And you can cut this. Okay. You can cut this in half if you want. Right? Sometimes I end up cutting them in quarters. Like you take them like this and you go, let me go cut them like this in quarters. Right? And you can eat it that way. Right? But when it's ripe like this, like <laughs> really ripe, I just cut the top and eat it out with a spoon right you just go gloop, 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 right maybe I'll wear my glasses like this <laughs> well back to reality uh, versus wolf for tomorrow catch you some other time okay nice thanks for popping by play uh, are we making some tea we're gonna make some tea for sure I got the tea boiling right now okay the water boiling so what's on the menu should I tell you what's on the menu okay let me tell you what's on the menu <laughs> here's my menu I had to make a menu because I'm making a whole bunch of different things I didn't want to miss anything right uh, we're gonna make some mint tea we're gonna uh, boil some potatoes cut up some potatoes boil some potatoes we're gonna roast some potatoes oven roast potatoes with mint okay that's one of the places I use it we're gonna cut up some onions we're gonna make some uh, mint marinated lamb chops loin chops okay um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna fry up some mint fry up some onions and most likely eggs how are you doing most likely some mushrooms as well heat up some soup and then I'll show you that's sort of a mix that we do we mix it into soup uh, we're gonna make a yogurt dish with cucumbers mulberries and mint and a little bit of salt okay we're gonna make a uh, yogurt drink uh, that's really good for the desert and stuff like this and we're gonna make some pasta uh, mint pasta and stuff okay that's a lot of X's <laughs> no, I've been missing the cooking strings yeah me too me too so let me show you this take a look at this I could just cut it like this right Usually I just peel it off, but I'm gonna cut it like this. Right? Take a look. And take a look at that. Nice and gooey. And you just scoop it out. Right? And it's really sweet. It's really nice. Like, it's phenomenal. Right? <laughs> wow. So good, so good, and you can just scrape around it. 
I take out the layer when it's really ripe like this. So good. So good. It, it is. Uh, am I going to make tahini? No, no tahini. Uh, Zara. Okay. We're going to keep on eating this. Here, let me show you this. <laughs> you can just scoop it out. It's like watermelon. When you get it like this, it's easy to cut out in general. There are seeds here, by the way, but you can eat the seeds. Sometimes you can't. The seeds uh, become harder, but when they're picked like this, in general, there's like a gooey, harder gooey. Think about it. There's a harder gooey thing on the inside. They usually have two or four seeds. I can't remember, but they're gooey, so it's a little bit harder. It's an amazing texture. So good. And there is, there's one other type of, uh, okay, I'm gonna take this off. Someone mentioned when we made the, the last tea video or the tea video we made a long time ago, they mentioned that you don't want to let the water boil too much because you lose a lot of oxygen. So since that comment, whoever it was, thank you very much. Since that comment, I haven't been, if I can get to it, been letting it boil too much because I still want the oxygen in there as well, right? As far as the persimmon is con uh, concerned, there's two types of persimmon, the big ones, right? The one that we just cut up and these ones. These ones are really good too, but these ones you don't have to wait until they're like crazy ripe, okay? They are good when they're ripe as well though. How's the mouthfeel? The mouth feels fantastic. And it's cold, and this is super sweet. Nice. <laughs> it's, like, it's like delicious. Oh, so good. Okay, this is the tea that I have. I'm just gonna top up my tea. All right, this is just a Persian black tea. Okay, just a little bit. And I'm gonna dump this out and put the mint leaves in there. Just a little rinse. Now, let's bring out the mint. This is one of the mints and this is uh, another jar that we made. This is the, uh, since we made the mint video, okay, since we made this video, let me show it to you again. Since we made this video, right, I think we got, I forgot how many mint jars we got. I think we got six, six of these things or five and a half of these things, right? This is the first one that we're going through. Actually it was one and a bit. Right, there was a half another one or something like this. We're down to the end, so I'm just going to use this much of it for the tea. Okay. Oops, I got the mint video thing on. Let me take the mint video thing down. Boop. All right, here it is. So I'm just going to use about this much for the tea. Okay, and we're going to need the rest of this mint most likely. Well, we will be needing it. Ark the Ark, just out of no, uh, nowhere. But did anyone see any circus dress up as uh, Theresa May with a oh, <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> I'm just so giggling to myself. <laughs> no, man, I honestly don't even understand what's happening with it. It's hilarious. <laughs> too funny, too funny. Think of this. Let me bring this up. And all I do usually is just, just put it in, right? Stem and all, okay? So 
one more. Right. The stem gives it a more earthy taste. Okay, gives it a more earthy feel. If you just put mint leaves in there, uh, it gives it a stronger, less earthly, earth, earthy feel to it. Okay, it's uh, it's stronger, a little bit. Yeah, just earthy with the with the stems in there. <laughs> Let's put a little bit more. Let's make it strong mint tea. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. Let's put the water in there. There's a little bit here. And let's just pour the water in there. And this I don't have to rinse because I already... And pour the rest of the water in there. In the pot that we have. And let's get this going. Put the lid on. Okay, we don't need this guy. Let's put this guy here. Let's put this guy here. Okay. Nice. Conversations are going. That's good. That's good. Okay. The next thing we need to do, we need to set up, is we need to get the water boiling for the potatoes. Okay. So let me get the water boiling for the potatoes. Just fill it up this much. Right. We're gonna do enough to make a, a tray full of roasted potatoes. Okay, so let's get that going. And this is our snack while we're cooking. So we're gonna eat more of the persimmon. This side of it is bruised, so it's dark on the inside. Check it out. It got bruised, so it's dark on the inside. I don't eat that usually. Oh, I, uh, if we're running low, like we only got one of these juicy ones, maybe, but I got a lot back there. Right? Okay, mm. very nice, so good. Mm, let's put the glasses here. I'm gonna have another spoonful while I read a couple of comments, and then we'll, we'll cut up the potatoes. Okay. Never watched a cooking stream, but I'm digging this at like night when you're like relaxing before. Awesome. Hope you enjoy it. Some of the stuff we're making with the mint is uh, is very soothing for nighttime. Very soothing for nighttime. Take a look at that. Just the greenness of it. No, I'm going to finish this. <laughs> it's nice and cold. I don't want it to warm up. Look at that. And it gets a little, might get a little messy if the skin breaks. All right. So far, so good. Delicious. Yeah, I'm trying to stay informed Brexit, but still don't understand the whole thing. I haven't looked into it yet. I'm in the States. Don't need to tell you that everybody is a class of right here. <laughs> as far as Brexit is concerned, one of the main issues that they, they're having is, um, from what I understand anyway, it's, uh, it's the border with Northern Ireland, Ireland, right? If goods will be able to go back and forward without taxes and stuff like this as a hard border or soft border or whatever. And all the trades, deals that they have with tariffs and stuff like that, those will be obsolete. So people, you know, businesses don't know what's gonna happen with the taxes. Also foreign governments that have set up shop in the UK, they're worried that if Brexit happens without a trade deal, without understanding what the taxes and all the trades are going to be, then if they're making stuff in the UK, 
it's going to be more expensive and they're making stuff in the uk it's going to be more expensive for people in the eu the rest of western europe i guess if you want to call it to buy their products because they have to go across a border now and vice versa okay that's the trade deal version of it the other version of it is uh, other main issues is the uk is being governed by oligarchs from brussels right and all you need to do really is do a little search on the head of the eu the person the president of the eu and take a look at his drunken antics in at ceremonies to figure out who these people are right when the guy's bitch slapping the leaders of other nations right the people supposedly them voted these them to represent them right and uh, on the budget front issue is any budget that any country in the eu passes uh, any government that wants to pass any budgets any government that belongs to the eu they have to get it okayed by brussels by the oligarchs in brussels on how that government is going to spend their money right and they can veto the they those members of parliament uh those members in the oligarchs in brussels can veto a budget in italy for example or veto a budget in greece for example they can say no the greek people cannot uh, spend their money based on what their representatives have decided to uh, spend on right there's a <laughs> there's a lot going on uh, okay let me put this down and this you can actually i'm not going to throw this away because there's still goodness in there but what i'm going to do i'm going to put it in a plate because it gets a little messy so i'm going to put it in the fridge okay that way i'll eat it later it's it's too good to even waste this even when you gotta throw it there now everything i just said about the eu please check into it i might have my facts uh, wrong a little bit uh, hopefully the child will take care of it hey chicho hello sleepy waves how are you doing people are really pushing for another referendum now because of how things are going i want to leave but if uh, yeah if it'd be crazy if another referendum happens could you make any sort of uh stock from that fruit or would it be way too sweet um stock you mean like a sauce or something to mix with other other food oh uh, let me put this aside uh, i don't know i've never tried it is sweet it is sweet but when it's not sweet we're gonna cut up some potatoes okay when it's not sweet it's it's got a different feel to it okay uh how many we're we gonna make okay let's cut up those ones okay like a saucy puree most likely the puree would be amazing and then you could put some chili sauce in it or something and uh, give it a little spicy and maybe amazing with chicken it could be it could be i've never tried what's today's stream on um we're gonna do use uh, if you remember if we made a drying mint video that we made so we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you guys uh, you know a few different ways that I use the dry mint in different things that I cook okay. and when I make roasted potatoes sometimes I cook cut them thin sometimes I cut them thicker uh, it really depends but right now I'm gonna cut them like medium size right so i'm breaking them down to about this size okay that's the bigger size and the smaller size would be around this on the edges and then once you do that what basically ends up happening is let's put this here what I, one thing ends up happening is because we're cooking potatoes well, let me turn this down now because we're cooking potatoes we're cook, cook, cooking them together right uh, they're going to be under the same you know they're going to be boiling for the same amount they're going to be cooking in the oven for the same amount, right? amount of time 
So what's going to happen is uh, some of them will be more cooked than the other. Some of them will be more crispy. So it ends up being really good. You don't want the sizes to vary too much, right? Because if you do that, then some cook, some don't. Uh, but a little variation is not bad. You could even do mathematics on that, take the sizes and measure it, right? <laughs> Maybe we do someday. Maybe we do someday. I'm just going by sight of how much I need or how much I want to make, right? Eric, everything is mass if you look hard enough yeah everything is mathematics if you look hard enough sometimes you don't even have to look too hard on it right to boil for long right it really doesn't we're not gonna totally cook it by boiling it what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some of the cooking that it was gonna do in the oven by boiling it and it's gonna make the potatoes more juicy on the inside and more you know when you bake it and then boil boil it uh, you're gonna be crispy on the outside and this is the boiling I never used to do. This is something that a friend of mine showed me how to do a few years ago. I go, why, why are you boiling the potatoes? It goes off. It makes it, you know, you use less energy to uh, pan fry them or uh, bake them. Zero degrees right now and my feet are cold. Oh no. Warm them up. Jump up and down. Tink, how are you doing? I haven't seen you for a while. Hi, Chicho. Liking the beanie. Oh, thanks. Stay warm. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's it's it, temperature here is getting cold, staying warm, so it's fluctuating a little bit, right? But we're getting into the cold season. We're getting into the cold season. Okay, let's put the potatoes in here. I'm just gonna do my. Whoop. kick up the temperature a little bit on this okay and let's put this guy here let's put these guys over. okay now that we've got that going now we don't need to cook this for too long let me bring this let's just give it a little shake and i'm not gonna put the lid on because potatoes, what happens when it starts boiling, it might spill over. So I'm going to leave it open just a tad. Okay. That way I can take a look at this. Usually I try to catch it. Usually I try to catch it. Okay. You guys listen to podcasts. I just asked Bob. Working, getting crazy. It's not political at all. Hard to see it. Okay, cool. So what have we got going? What have we got going? We got the potatoes going. Let's cut up some onions. Let's cut up some onions. Let's drink some tea first. Human uh, pasta. And by the way, do you guys want to make? Uh, what should we make? Do you want to make spaghetti or do you want to make gnocchi? Okay, I'm gonna make one pasta dish with mint and feta. 
up to you guys if you want to make gnocchi or if you want to make spaghetti okay i'm just putting that out there before i start boiling the water after the potatoes because i'm going to bake the potatoes um, for a while so what i'm going to do is i want to start off the baking i'm going to set up to 400 okay 400 yeah 400 is good okay so i'm going to turn that on usually check the oven to make sure i don't have anything in there right gnocchi sounds nicer let's check it out everyone <laughs> there's a lot of gnocchi people <laughs> nice spaghetti mama spaghetti gnocchi gnocchi is yummy oh no i'm late how's <laughs> there my spot at the how you doing <laughs> oh no gnocchi sounds nice gnocchi okay we got gnocchi going on straw poll link straw poll link yeah i know we should do like a poll thing we'll have to set that up at some point do a little poll gnocchi or spaghetti and people can vote and get the count right and then we can overlay that with mathematics that would be fantastic that would be fantastic gnocchi it is gnocchi would be i've only i've only had homemade gnocchi once <laughs> spotted that you missed it <laughs> looks like people converted to gnocchi gnocchi is good too it's the same uh, never mind man. uh it's the same same method gnocchi just uh, cooks faster it's easier to tell when gnocchi is cooked uh, because gnocchi is just basically when it starts floating on top of the water then you know it's cooked okay so let me some onion too. Okay. Get some of this prep work done. Usually I would just wash it off, but right now, I'll just give it a wipe. That's good enough. 
I want to keep in mind we cut onions here, right? So I'm not going to cut anything else on here that is not going to go with the onion. I have another cutting board that I'm going to put the, cut the uh, cucumbers and stuff. So let's put that guy there. Normal pasta. Ties to pure water. Okay, so we've got that. What are we going to do? We're going to pour ourselves some mint tea. Actually, I can just do it, mix it with this, right? So let me show you. Actually, I'm going to show you here. Let me show you the color of mint tea. It's very clear. I pour it, what I end up doing is pour more water into this, replenish. That way we're going to have tea going all the time. Okay, and let me show you the color difference. And this is really weak tea, right? It's like the, you can see the color difference, right? This tea, I've been, I started you know, getting preference, like around eight o'clock, I put the tea on, right? So it's been four hours of me going through fewer iterations of it. It's nice, it's nice. It's hot, so I'm just gonna take sips. How about CBD tea? Chai tea, or what is that? I think I've heard it before, but Turkish tea. Which one is Turkish tea? Farfel is uh, normal pasta, gross. Oh, which one was the Turkish tea? Uh, sorry, I missed that comment. Okay, so how's the potatoes going? I'm gonna give this guy a little shake and I'm gonna kick up the temperature when I want it. Okay. The oven's getting to, right now, sitting at 280 degrees Fahrenheit. I set it to 400 okay i want to get it to 400 because we're gonna do the roasted potatoes and then halfway through or so when the potatoes are getting ready the potatoes usually take about depending right depending on the size you got to keep an eye on them right roasted potatoes uh turkish tea is demim tea demim tea i don't know demim tea better yet so yeah so it's so is that what it says? I think it says Solarium root? What is it? Sicitium. Uh, Sicitium tortusium tea. I don't know what that is. Sounds interesting though. So about uh, you know ten after 10, 15 minutes of the potatoes being there, we're gonna give them a little mix. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, the lamb in there. Yorkshire tea. This is this is the lamb that I marinated yesterday. Okay, let's just put this on top of this. Good luck. Okay, let me bring this up. Let me bring a fork. So what I did. This is the lamb loin chops. So I've marinated this in olive oil, balsamic vinegar. Okay. I was gonna do it in wine, but I just went with balsamic vinegar. With wine is really good too. With balsamic vinegar is fantastic. With rosemary, okay, mint and garlic, right? So there's dried mint in here. And the dried mint basically when I'm marinating, this is all I do. Bring out the mint and just, you know, take some leaves, right? And all I would do is just, you see the way it's crumbling? And I'll show it to you here. Well, I'm pretty sure you can see that, but I'll show it to you here as well. Right? 
it just crumbles up top and then you shake it up give it a mix and then what I did this morning it was marinating since last night what I did this morning I you know when I was getting prepped for the stuff around 8 o'clock this morning or so I flipped them right so I flipped them so the other side would also be marinated so I'm just gonna give it one more flip Oops. And lamb, you don't need to cook long. So I'm just gonna close this off again. Cutlery that we're using there. So I'm gonna close this off again. And we're just gonna leave it out. Now, let's get the potato. Oops. Oops, sorry about that loud. Is there any reason you use dried mint rather than fresh mint? Yeah, dried mint you can get around that spreads out more, right? It breaks, dried mint sort of just crumbles, right? That way you can get it all over the meat, you can get it all over the pasta. You can cut up fresh mint I use as well in season, right? You can cut up fresh mint and use it in a garnish and stuff like this, but when cooking, I like using dried mint, and I like using dried rosemaries. We're gonna put some rosemaries in with the potatoes as well. So take a look at this. This one is just rosemaries that I picked last night and I gave them a wash, right? We might use some fresh rosemaries as well, okay? And then these ones are rosemaries that, you know, we picked, uh, I don't know, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. It's basically, here, let me show you. So we basically pick a plate like this, right, of rosemary. This is what I picked last night and washed. And we let it sit and we let it dry and we use it. And, you know, we did this like two, three weeks ago. I can't remember. And this is the rest of the dry stuff that we have left, right? And rosemaries as well, when you break them up, they break way more easily. So they spread out more in the food. You get the, the flavor. I just like using dried when I'm doing certain types of things, right? Oh, be careful keeping that cloth on the pot of, oh, for sure, pot of steam, oops, he's a pot of steam, and that heat could cause it to catch fire, especially if it uh, slips. Oh, for sure, I don't, uh, I keep an eye on things, but this isn't, uh, when I'm boiling potatoes, I'm here all the time, do not leave cloth for sure great advice advice uh, arc where do you pick up your herbs uh, I pick up uh, the, the rosemaries in our garden the mint in our garden or the neighbor's garden uh, there's lots of mint being grown all over the place uh, that's one of the reasons I end up uh, what do you call it uh, end up doing a lot of drying herbs and stuff like this now take a look at this, the potatoes, because it costs, it, the costs are nothing, right? So I'm gonna cook this a little bit more. I'm putting pressure on this to break in. I'm gonna cook it more. I want it softer, okay? Let's put that guy there. Does a neighbor uh, know? Yeah, the neighbor knows it. A lot of people in my part of the world, they, uh, they grow a lot of herbs. They grow, there's lots of fruit trees, so, if you see something around the neighborhood that you want to have access to, if you go talk to them, most likely you'll get access to it. Everyone is friendly again. <laughs> until they're not friendly. Right, Index? Everyone's friendly again until they're not friendly. Uh, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, potatoes, onions, we cut up the onions. Uh, let me show you one drink dish sort of that we end up making
This is my supply of yogurt. We're getting steam coming out. Yes. Let me bring one out. Let's see. Ready? Let's see. Good. Okay. So, before we make the yogurt drink, we're going to set it up, set the potatoes to be deal with the potatoes. So first thing I'm going to do, I got to transfer this, I'm going to dump it through the sieve in the sink. Okay. Uh, that way we get rid of the water and I'm going to give it a rinse with cold water. I always do that with the potatoes and I do it with rice and uh, with gnocchi too, we're gonna give it a rinse after we cook it. Okay, so let me do this. Turn these guys over. And where's that other? Oh, it's right here. There it is. Okay, this one's going to not, any, not right now. Let's get rid of this. This guy can go through. See how hot this is. No. Let's use our mitts. Let's use our mitts. Let's turn this off for now. Here's our tray. I'm just using a, I don't know what you call these, a glass tray that goes in the oven. I'm going to put some oil on it. Okay. Olive oil. That's plenty. Okay. And I'm going to bring this. And we're just going to dump it in. In general, you don't want this to be too full. The reason being is you want the heat, things to get crispy with the, with the oven roasted potatoes. Right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mix this up. And this is sort of almost to max capacity right now, the potatoes, right? A little bit less potatoes would be better because that way the potatoes are, they're all getting heat. They're all gonna get nice and crispy on the outside. I might even reduce a little bit of this. Yeah, I'm gonna reduce a little bit of this. Too much in one plate. So, let's bring this in. And if it's too much, you can just save it, cook it later, right? Not a big deal. So, let's just throw this here. Throw this here. So, that was four potatoes, I think. Right? I had already washed the potatoes and took out the little you know, bits that aren't, you know, they're damaged or whatnot, right? That's good. So I took out this much of it, right? I took out this much out, so we're not gonna cook this one right now in this tray. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm gonna bring out rosemary, dried rosemary, right? And I'm going to break it over this. Right? And dried rosemary, you can just take it and then pull. Right? I like the 
flavor of rosemary. Rosemary is amazing. I'm gonna do one more. Okay. Actually, half a more. We'll do half a more. Okay. So that's how much rosemary. One and a half stems, basically. And then I'm gonna put mint in, right? So the mint. Let's see how much mint we're gonna put in. You could make some lovely bubbling squid with those leftover potato bubbling i don't know what that is bubbling squeak that's a bubbling squeak and the big stems in this we don't put right just a leaf you know a little bit of the lesser smaller stems Ideally, I want the mint even to be... Oh, this one was good. Some of the mint sometimes is not as crumbly as the other ones. And this you do to your taste. You know, do you like the stuff to be really minty? Do you want it to be more rosemary? Do you want, you know, no mint or no rosemary? This is basically the way I make roasted potatoes. salt on it right now. I wait until it's cooked to put salt on it. Or uh, it's gone nice and crispy. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's put that on the potatoes. Give it a shake, right? Nice. Nice. And then we're just going to throw it in. So I'm going to put a timer on it. I'm going to go 20 minutes for now. I'm going to keep an eye on it. And I basically put it in the middle shelf. Okay. Let me read a couple more comments. Let's see where we're at. It's a breakfast food. The potato bubble and squeak. Breakfast food in my mystical land. <laughs> Google it. It is very nice. Okay, sweet. Bubble and squeak is a very British breakfast is usually made up from leftover potatoes and stuff from the dinner on the night before oh really nice so it's like a pie thing it could be like a meat pie or something where does the name come from no one knows honestly huh who knows we have a dessert called spotted do you spotted thick <laughs> what <laughs> spot of tea i know that's a legit legit thing because spot of tea is saying it right what a dick. What? Crazy, crazy. Let me show you a yogurt drink. Okay. This yogurt drink is amazing. Uh, I'm going to use a big thing. Okay. This yogurt drink is absolutely amazing during the summers if you're in a hot area, if you live in a hot environment. This is something we used to have. Uh, we used to, well, we still do, but back in the day when we lived in a desert when i was a little kid this was a staple drink that we had right because it replenishes you so you take a little bit of yogurt right it's called dual by the way I iranians call it dual i don't know uh what arabs call it it's middle eastern uh, drink okay and you can make it with either club soda okay or uh, just with water. I'm gonna make it. Um, should we make it with water or club soda? Um, should we make it with water or club soda? I wish we had a poll. Club soda or water, gang? Which one? What do you want to mix with this? <laughs> should we do club soda or water? Do you want a club soda yogurt drink or do you want a water yogurt drink? Club soda. We got. We got one vote for club soda. Yeah, we're not known for our 
food for a reason. <laughs> call it tan in Armenian. Uh, you call it tan. Tan. Oh, yeah, tan in Armenian is called tan. That's right. Oh, la the previously when you said, are you going to make tan? I, I thought you said tahini. Yeah, tan. We're going to make tan. We got one water from Spotted Tea. Ark is saying club soda. We got two club sodas, one water. Spotted Tea got burnt last time doing. Uh, you didn't make it for the previous poll. So if we get half and half, half Twitch 1000, we could. We could make half and half. We'll satisfy everybody. We're going to make half and half. We'll do it. All right? Here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. Okay. And then you're going to. Break it down. So, when you start, right? and it becomes liquidy. And you don't want the yogurt to be in chunks. Like right now, you still see chunks in there, right? On the spoon. You want the liquid, uh, the yogurt to be fully liquid, right? So that was about half water, and I got cold club soda in the fridge, so... Oh, we finished, uh, we finished all the cold club soda in the fridge, so new club soda. This is a lot, right? Half and half. And hello. Hello, how are you doing, Twitch 1000? Did you get to read issue two of uh, Damn Yet? No, no, I haven't read I picked it up, though. Harley Quinn, I saw some pages. Harley Quinn looked crazy cool. Crazy cool. I saw the page. I read the page online, which said, uh, Hit the bat, uh, hit the bat, hit the bat, hit the bat with a baseball bat. Boom. That was pretty cool. I think that was the same, right? So that's broken down pretty nicely. So all you do is just take mint, right? And just crumble it in there, right? And you want the mint to break down. That's one of the reasons uh, the person that asked, why do you use dried? dry this will mix in to the drink well right if it's not dried it doesn't crumble it becomes in chunks like even this one more crumbly the better for this drink okay you get more right? i'm just pulling the mint from here Add salt you don't need to but you just add salt right? especially in uh, in warm climates it's good to have salt because salt helps you to retain liquid right it keeps you hydrated okay and usually you want to you know you don't make uh, you do actually drink it fresh as well right but Usually you sort of let it sit a little bit. Okay. Apparently Spotted Dick, the name comes from the currents uh, and is making it uh, Spotted Dick. Hmm. Let's make the drink. Okay. So that's enough mint for now. You can put as much mint as you like, right? see the mint chunks in there right <laughs> fantastic right now it's just floating up top because it hasn't had time to soak in the, the yogurt drink and stuff right and then just give it a drink it's 
fantastic, really. Or maybe it doesn't like the desert, I guess. I'm gonna put on my glasses. Let me read some comments. Check this out. Doesn't like the that desert, I guess. Not a permit. Oh yeah, that's right. He was deleted. Blocked her. Oops. Index. Okay, so index approved it. Awesome. That's nice. I haven't had dual uh, for a while because we're in the fall, right? It's usually a drink that we have for the summer. That's nice. Let's put that on the side. So what do we got? Let's clear up our little bits of mint. Okay, another thing I'm gonna make is, let's bring these guys here. Blah, 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 blah. Roast potatoes, meat. Let's set up the meat, okay? And then we're gonna make, uh, where's our tray for the meat? So right now, we've been cooking the potatoes for about nine minutes, right? Let's put this guy here. Let me take a look at them. Because I usually, when I roast potatoes, I constantly look at them. Whenever I think I have something in the oven, I'm checking on it on a regular basis. Okay. Oh yeah, they got a long ways to go yet. Okay. I'm gonna kick up the temperature to 425. But we are gonna transfer the lamb into this glass tray, okay? And what I usually do with the glass trays, I usually, you know, we store them, you know, under the stove, sometimes in the stove or wherever we store these glass trays. But whenever I bring them up, before I end up using them, I usually give them a, give them a sort of a rinse, okay? And that's why these guys are sitting over there. If I know I'm gonna make something, I give them a rinse, let them dry a little bit and whatnot, right? So, let's lay these guys in there. We don't need this guy anymore, nope. Okay, take a look. And you don't want the lamb to be touching each other. Sometimes uh, one thing you can do with lamb too, with these lamb chops, is there's a bone in there and you can grab a knife and separate the meat from the bone. And what that does, I push it too far, what that does, it, the meat closer to the bone cooks faster. Usually the, the, meat, the meat that's touching the bone cooks a little bit slower, right? But if you like your stuff rare, if you like it that way, you can just leave it the way it is, right? I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Now take a look at this. This is all the goodies in there, right? All the marinade, I'm gonna pour it out on top. fork in the in the sink because the odds are I'm gonna use the fork to do a little flip on this thing right flip the lamp okay next you basically add water to yogurt with some salt it's actually refreshing grew up drinking that yeah it's weird a lot of people this drink uh, I've given it to a lot of friends okay uh, that's telling us we reached 425 should we make it 420? Let's make it 420. There. Let's cook it at 420 instead. And we're already at 420. Uh, this drink here, I've given it to a lot of friends. A lot of people don't like this. They find it really weird. Really weird. Okay. If you've 
grown up with it if you know if you're really thirsty nothing quenches your thirst like do okay or ton or yogurt drink so salt makes it refreshing yeah it does never heard that before yeah the salt allows it uh, makes you retain water right like is that right sounds weird to me yeah weird yeah a lot of people find it weird a lot of people find it weird this yogurt drink try it out grow it grow a flavor for it nothing quenches thirst like that nothing I came from the country of spot <laughs> Jesus. we can't say nothing dude. that's funny so let's check on the potatoes one more time yeah potatoes in general take a long time to cook okay so I'm gonna put this We do have to cut up, uh, what do you call it? Uh, mushrooms as well. So let me cut up some mushrooms. Actually, mushrooms should we do right now? Let's do this first. Okay. Let's put this here. And let's do this. What we're going to do is fry up some of the dried mint. Canada has nothing weird except maybe poutine. Poutine's delicious. Poutine's so good. What kind of shrooms you? <laughs> no, I just got the straight, uh, simple shrooms, the white shrooms, right now. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't pick up any shiitake. Shiitakes would be amazing too, for sure. Shiitakes would be phenomenal. Okay. Now I'm adding a fair bit of oil because after I fry up the mint, and the mint fries up super fast, right? So you got to be right on top of it. After I fry up the mint, I'm going to transfer it over to a little plate and then I'm going to fry up the onions and then once the, or caramelize the onions a little bit, like slow cook it. And then after that, what we're going to do is um, throw in the mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> Fries, cheese curds, and gravy. Yeah, that's it. You don't want to eat too much poutine. You eat lots of poutine, you'll die of a heart attack by the time you're 20. Right. So let's heat this up, and then we're gonna break down some mint. Let's bring out some mint. Let's just put this on the side. This on the side. And this on the side. And what happens when you fry up greens? Fry up mint. They stay for a while, they last for a while, so you can keep them in the fridge, uh, but they dwindle down a lot, like in volume, they just break down, right? So you don't get too much of it. temperature I'm putting it a little bit above for this that we're gonna fry up the mint a little bit more than medium okay a little bit more than medium as soon as the olive oil gets nice and fluid I throw the mint in okay. you don't want to burn the mint This is sort of uh, what I'm doing right now. We can use as a garnish for anything, anything like that you're cooking and whatnot. It's uh, it's really nice in soups. There's a, a certain Persian dish uh, called Ash uh, Reshte. Uh, it's basically a heavy soup that's based. Uh, it's got lots of greens and it's got noodles in there okay and it's got beans and stuff like this you you eat a lot of it or you can you know it's served a lot during the winter okay let's throw that in there. Yeah, a little wooden guy. and 
one reason you use a lot of oil for this is because greens suck up a lot of oil. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit more. And I'll just let it sit there and these guys go in the compost area. Nice. So that, that thing. is cooked I'm just gonna throw it in here I have lots of cousins that live near Vancouver so I live uh, so I've been up to Canada a few times but I've never tried poutine oh you should try poutine spot of tea for sure yeah you gotta find a good place in Vancouver someone's mentioning uh, index uh, poutine uh, you can get really bad poutine so just like anything, you gotta find the right place for it. Let this fry up. Okay, while this is frying up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop up some of the mushrooms. Because we're gonna throw some mushrooms in there too. Okay. So, let's bring out these mushrooms. What I did uh, initially, I hadn't planned on throwing mushrooms in, but what I usually end up doing is. Uh, if uh, if I'm doing a cook, uh, either for myself or for you guys or for friends and family and stuff like this, I usually look in the fridge to see if there's anything that we haven't, you know, that needs to be used up. So I sort of try to uh, plan my cooks or try to plan to use whatever that's been been there a while that needs to be used right and I found these mushrooms right? I try not to waste too much food so that's been 20 minutes that's what the beeping is let's take a look at the potatoes nice okay that's been 20 minutes right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it bake for another 12 minutes Oops, big, sorry, 420, big, 420, keep it at 420, I want the timer to be for another 12 minutes, okay, and we're going to put the lamb in there, okay, so we're going to take the lamb, oh, we've got to be careful with this, I can smell the lamb, here's the lamb, right, I'm going to throw that in there, and again, I'm putting in the middle tray, so the meat here that's good enough okay there's some stems in there I may take those out because you really don't want the stems uh, for the garnish okay but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna transfer this to here, put this here I'm gonna transfer this to here I'm gonna keep some of the, the flavor of the mint in there, okay? Because, here, let's do this. Before I put it down, I need to, oh, I can give it wet with this. I don't want the oil that might have come down from the side to be on the stove, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna throw the onions in there. I'm going to put the lid on. Okay. And I'm going to kick down the temperature on this to about two. Okay. Or three. Okay. I'll tell you what, it's true what people say. Food is so much better in Canadian. Da, da, da. Okay, people are having a conversation. Good stuff. So. Let's do this. Let's chop up the mushrooms. I 
definitely should be using the digging knife, but I'm using a little bit. I'm not in a rush. For some reason, with, I like I like this knife. It's just I like using it, especially if I'm not cutting up too much. Just a little bit of things. So let's take this. That one got contaminated, so we're not going to use that one. I'm going to put the mushrooms in a new thing. Someone mentioned uh, previously when they were watching some of the cooking videos, uh, they said that the main, these two cameras shooting here, they were good, but the main camera that we're facing was lagging a little bit. Hopefully, we're not lagging. I said I'd look into it. it. Might have been the connection at the time. Right? So just a bowl of mushrooms that we're gonna fry up as well. Anyone got a fake knife? I think that <laughs> just feels perfect to use. Yeah. Yeah. If you feel like if if you find a great knife that you like using, for me anyway. Let this cook. But while that's doing its thing, let me check this. Nice. These guys are still cooking. So we set the timer on 12 minutes. We've got another seven and a half minutes to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up some uh, carrots. Not carrots, uh, cucumbers. Okay. So I'm going to show you this cucumber dish, cucumber yogurt dish that we're making. Okay. I'm going to put this guy here. some cucumbers nice I got five here I don't know if we're gonna use five we'll use four for now let's use the big knife for this the ends of the cucumbers I usually get rid of I don't use okay. this is another dish which is absolutely amazing absolutely amazing for the summer really it's phenomenal for the summer okay. Get my eyes a little rinse. let's chop these up okay. and you can some people chop up the, the the cucumbers really small you can chop them up big it's up to you. I go medium, right? So I'm giving each one of these half slices of cucumber. And these are sort of, I guess they're considered small, but for me they're okay. Let me give this another mix. Yes. I'm going to kick up the temperature on the onions a little bit. into the bowl. So we got this much cucumbers right now. Okay. We're gonna do more. We're gonna do more. We're gonna do all three of these. Well we're gonna do two and see how much we got. Okay. See how big they are, right? Let's cut up this one too. Let's 
sometimes two cut down the middle, sometimes three, or for each half. Continue cucumber, right? This is a lot of cucumber. Okay, we'll make a cucumbery nice dish. Let's do this. Good, good. Nice. Let's bring out the potatoes. Let me show you what these guys look. So take a look at this right now. It's getting a little bit crispy. See that? And the skins are really good on the potatoes like this. Right? So I don't peel the potatoes. Okay. Nice, eh? So I'm gonna give it a give it a sort of a shake. Could use a little bit of more oil, but I'm gonna leave it alone. And then it's gonna go back in the oven. All right. We're gonna cook this longer, much longer. We want it to be nice and crispy. So let's take this. gonna stay there so that's been 12 minutes let's check it out oh, yeah. the lamb's gonna stay there longer so let's take the timer so it's been there for about 11 minutes the timer that I sent right I set it up for 12 it's been 11 minutes I'm gonna reset the timer for another 12 minutes so slowly as you get closer to things being cooked the time is gonna decrease decrease the amount of time that I'm gonna be looking at this stuff right Okay. I'm going to kick this up a bit more for the onion. So we're sitting at four out of nine as far as the temperature goes for this guy right here, right? Let me show you the yogurt dish. Cucumbers, right? Yogurt. Okay. Throw it in. This all of it, really. I cut up a lot of cucumbers, so it's going to be very cucumbery. So you have to decide to your taste how you want it. If you like a lot of cucumber with this yogurt dish, you put a lot of cucumber. If you like little, you put a little, right? So that's that. The next thing that's a must, right, with this, you can have it just like this. We're gonna mix it all up, right? I'm gonna put in mulberries, dried mulberries. Usually this dish is with raisins, okay? You can also use cranberries, but right now I'm into mulberries, okay? Fantastic. So just pour in. 
The other thing you can put in here too is walnuts. And I'm gonna show it to you because walnuts is the extra thing you can put in. Right now, I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. And of course, we're gonna put mint in here, right? So let me close this up for now. I might increase the amount of mulberries. I'm going to add the mushrooms okay. after I take care of this. And that's the beauty with the dried mint. You just pour it on into your hand, right? And you can put your other hand on top and you just go like this. You get a little bit on the outside and stuff, but that's okay. Just make sure you're doing it in a place where you can just clean up easy. Salt, a little bit, not much, if you want to, not necessary, okay, but I'm gonna go, like, not even, right, just a little bit, just a little bit, okay. I'm gonna increase the amount of mulberries just a tad, just to balance out with the cucumber, but I'm gonna taste it first before I do that. and can't check the chat. I hope it's all going well in the chat. So I don't know, you know, what the volume of it is, is per taste. I was gonna taste it actually before I added it, but I can just see by, by the look of it that I want more. When you use raisins for this, you can keep it you can keep it in the fridge for a long time this will last in the fridge for a while it doesn't it doesn't for me because i eat it like this much i'll go through in two three days right if you're using raisins after about three days or so the raisins give out the color a little bit the blackness comes out into the yogurt and stuff like this so the raisin you eat, end up eating faster to a certain degree and the raisin sucks in the water from the yogurt so they puff up a little bit after four or five days or so so i never take it that far um, i don't like it when it does that and cranberries it doesn't puff up too much anyway i haven't made it with cranberries too much right take a look phenomenal really amazing Let me do this. Take care of this guy. Okay. What I'm going to do right now is transfer the onions to another dish, right? That way I have a choice if I want to have have it mixed with. Um, Have it mixed with uh, mushrooms or not, right? So here's the onions. I could caramelize it more, but that's okay. Or cook it up more. It hasn't reached the 
major caramelized level because I'm not going to use it all up right now. I'm going to use some and then we're going to keep some in the fridge. that. Now what I'm going to do is I want to add a little bit of olive oil to this. Okay. Now I can put it back on the element and then I'm going to add the mushrooms. Okay. And then I'm going to put the lid back on. Be careful, be careful with these cast iron pans and stuff. They get crazy hot, right? So we got our onion cooked up, right? Nice. So I'm going to put this on the side. Look at it. The lamb's looking good. I'm going to show you one more thing with this. So I'm going to transfer this over because I'm not going to put walnuts in this whole thing, okay? You can make this dish with walnuts, uh, but right now I don't want the whole thing to be with walnuts. taking for this I'm taking three of these guys you break it up three halves you could take more let's see how many halves we're gonna take there's three let's do more I go by sight for this four five six so six of these guys six halves is that a lot no that's good mix it all in you could do less, and you can taste it up. Right? And you get the crunchiness of it. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. The last thing you do, and it's not traditional, hemp seeds. You can definitely put hemp seeds in there too. So let's put some hemp seeds in there. Not too much. Hemp seeds and yogurt, amazing. With cucumbers, phenomenal, right? So you're getting protein. You're getting dairy if you like dairy. You're getting your veggies. You're getting your cucumbers. You're getting your mulberries, uh, sugar, carbohydrates in this. Phenomenal dish. For the summer, absolutely amazing, right? And it doesn't have to be as dense with all the goodies in there, okay? You can make it more yogurty if you like. This is really good. So, let's take a look at this. Let's check this out. kick this down to really low it's the, actually I'm gonna turn it off for now okay so this guy is off we're gonna take a look at the lamp but before we take a look at the lamp I'm gonna take this I'm gonna shake this out I forget how much the time was that we set it but we're about to take the timer off it was one minute left Show you what it's like on the inside. So that was about 
11 minutes limit, about 20 minutes of the lamb cooking, right? And that, ooh, that is medium. Okay, that's perfect. I'm not gonna cook this anymore. Okay, you could set it to broil right now. Should we set it to broil? Let's do it. Let me show you what it looks like when you broil it. Because what I can do right now is I can flip it and let it broil. Let's do that. Let's flip it and broil it. Now remember, the potatoes are in there as well, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this guy in the top shelf, okay? And, let's put these guys here. I'm gonna put this on the top uh, shelf. I'm gonna move the potatoes to the top shelf. I'm gonna boil it, uh, broil it for about five minutes. The lamb, the odds are I'm gonna take out in a couple of minutes. Change it, stop it, broil it. Broils at 550, okay? So we're gonna leave that broil and I'm gonna put the timer on for five minutes, really. With a broil, you don't mess around. You don't go more than five minutes. Sometimes you'll put it on two minutes or three minutes. One man come in the name of love. That's you too, I know those lyrics. One man in the name. I used to play Sunday Bilirri Sunday on the drums. Um, so what else we're gonna do? This is cooked. Should we cook this a little bit more? Let's shake it up a little. Let's take a look. I'm gonna give this guy another blast at half. And what we're gonna do is, we gotta cook the gnocchi, right? Take care of this. Nice. I'm gonna put this beside the beside the mint. That way you see. That's the mint right there. Right. There's the mushrooms, mint. And we got our onions right here. Right. So we're gonna leave these guys here. This guy here. This is this. There. Make some food for ourselves. Let's put that there. Okay, I'm gonna take this lid. It's hot. You better be careful. Put it there. Cool. And we're gonna put some water in this guy and boil it. Because we're gonna make gnocchi. And if we're gonna make gnocchi, I'm kicking this temperature to high. We gotta boil the water. Okay. So that's there, that's there. Ooh. How's our timing for this? Oh yeah, we gotta bring this out. So that's been three minutes in the broiler. I'm turning it off. Take a look. Nice. And this guy's got two loops. Let's put that there. Okay, we gotta bring out the potatoes. You need this guy. Nice. Let's put the potatoes here for now. Okay. I'll show them to you. Okay, show them to you close up. So these guys are done. Fantastic. Let's put this guy here. Be careful with this. Let me lift up. Here, let me cut the lamb for you. So you see, it might have cooked a little bit too much, right? 
because I forgot about it. I should have set the timer. Take a look. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Looks delicious. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of this so it doesn't cook anymore. Okay. So let's put it in a plate. Put this guy. I'm surrounded by things. Actually, let's put this guy here for now. And what we've got to do is get the juices out of this. Because this is fantastic. We don't want to waste this. Turn off the timer. That was a timer for the broil for five minutes, right? So when you're cooking, five minutes may seem it's a long time if things are right out the cusp of being done. So I'm gonna transfer this over here. Right here. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is something the hot uh, glass tray in the sink I gotta make sure I don't put any cold water on it okay so I'm gonna keep that in mind the only reason I put it in there when it's that hot is because I'm running out of room right so take a look at this which one can you see you can see this one I'll cut this one so this guy's medium cut up a couple of pieces so we taste it and I don't mind eating the fat if it's a little crispy right let's see now I haven't added salt to this dip it into the sauce a little bit That is really good. I'm gonna eat one more chunk. I'm not letting my fork touch anything else, okay. Don't double dip. Mm. That is really good. Let me show you two potatoes. Mm. That is really good. <laughs> Oops, sorry about the sound. <laughs> Loud. Yum. Feel free to send some of that <laughs> to your friend. <laughs> decaf. Ah, decaf. How are you doing? I'm so jelly. Ah, fun. Delicious. I'm going to bring this one out. I'm going to show you what the potatoes look like. Here, we'll bring out this one. Here. We're going to eat this today, right now. All right. I'm going to take this guy. Let me show you the potatoes, the roasted potatoes. And I do want to put salt on them, so let me show them to you. Here's the roasted potatoes. I could put it in there to crisp up a little bit. I'm going to give it a shake and maybe broil it for another couple of minutes. Right? But what I'm going to do right now is add some salt. it up. Nice. Put some in this. That way we can munch on it. 
I'm gonna put it in there for a couple more minutes. Okay. Decap, if that's you, if you guys like ASMR math, she does phenomenal ASMR math stuff on YouTube. Very fun. So let's throw this back in. Just a couple of minutes, that's it. Broil, start, two minutes, start. Okay, cool. While that's doing this thing, where do we put our fork? Hmm, I mis misplaced my fork. Where do we put the fork? Where do we put the fork? Oh, we lost the fork. Okay, let me try this fork. Potatoes are usually hot on the inside, right? <laughs> the lamb is really good. They call it my lamb looks good. I cooked it a little bit more than I usually cook it. Should have kept a closer eye on it, but we were busy making other food, right? Oops. Could I use salt? Hmm. Maybe. Not too much, though. Not too much. Got our water boiling. Time for gnocchi. Okay. As soon as our bo water boils, I throw the gnocchi in. I kick the. Oh, I forgot about the potatoes. Dangerous, dangerous. I kick the temperature down. Okay. You don't want to burn the potatoes. Nice. That's good. Let me show them to you. By the way, the timer is your friend in the kitchen. Use the timer. Take a look. Hear the sound? That's what you want. Nice potatoes. Delicious. Crispy. Put the gnocchi in the water, right? I give it a shake always when I put the gnocchi in. And put the temperature down to about four out of nine. Okay. So let's put that guy there. Put that guy there. There's a balancing act here. Put that guy there. Okay. What we need to do is prep our bowl where we're going to put the gnocchi in uh, but that gives us we got a couple more minutes so i'm going to eat a couple more potatoes we didn't eat enough of the yogurt there you go this is usually a dish that you put on the table with dinner at you know serious gatherings birthdays holidays and stuff like this Good night, Art. Sweet dreams.
Now skip this guy and mix. I'm gonna cook up, the, uh, kick up the temperature a bit. I put it down to four because I don't want to get away from me, right? So let's have one more lamb bite, and then we're gonna prep. Um, for the gnocchi. Okay. A little bit of the fat. With potatoes. Very delicious. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. So, and we need to take care of this guy because we got gnocchi dish coming, right? I kicked it down too far. We definitely do need the water to boil in this. So I'm gonna kick it up. Okay, I'm just going to take out one of the gnocchis just to see what type of shape it's in. Okay. Usually want it floating, but I might have turned it down a little bit too much. I recognize this face. So. Hmm. The gnocchi is good to go. Let's put our fork here. That's our eating fork. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. Okay. Now for the new key, we got another sieve thing. Okay. Well, actually, no, I do need to take it out of the water. I don't want it overcooking. New key, you gotta be careful with. You don't want it overcook. Transfer into the school. Okay. Here's our gnocchi. Usually, I would take care of the gnocchi. I wouldn't put it in the bowl right away. I would have already set up the base for it. But because the gnocchi was done, we're going to do it this way. So, this guy, we're going to put oil on top. Olive oil. I'm going to bring out cheese. This is straight up feta. Okay. It's fairly soft feta. Like you can tell, it's really soft feta. Okay. I'm going to break it up here. I'm going to start pouring on top of the gnocchi. Start 
breaking up mint on top of the gnocchi and then what we're going to do is mix it all up if it needs more oil we'll put more oil usually i would have already mixed it up because you don't want the gnocchi to be stuck together you want oil to be sort of each gnocchi to have a little bit of oil on it so it doesn't all clump up Let's give it a mix. Sometimes I put a little bit of balsamic vinegar on this. Okay. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to see if I feel like having balsamic vinegar on here right now. I'm going to pour more mint. As soon as you pull some of the stems out of the mint jar, it loosens up more of them so they come down, the more drier ones, and you can just break it up like this. Mix it up. So this is food for like a couple of days, right? <laughs> At least. <laughs> or a couple of days, three days most likely. Let's give it a taste. Let's give it a taste. We'll give it a taste with a spoon. Let's see. I don't want any chunks, huge chunks of feta. Take a look. There's like a mint chunk there. And it's really good. And you don't have to add salt because the feta is already salty, right? So don't add any salt to this. Okay. And here's our dish. Here's our gnocchi feta mint dish. Right. Very nice. It complements uh, the lamb really well. Uh, it's sort of like the potatoes because it's just basically starch, right? I feel like having more of it. <laughs> I'm a spoon, this spoonful word. Oh yeah, this is all stuck together, right? I was mixing it, so I'm gonna pop this. Very nice. Very nice. Let's have a sip of tea. So, let's put these guys here. I'm gonna check my menu, right? What, what I set up to do, just to make sure we did everything, because I think we got everything covered, right? Oh, we haven't done the soup. Let me show you what I do with all this garnish stuff I made, right? We have, One more dish to show you. One more thing to show you, right? Where's your better half? My better half is working. So she's gonna be very happy to come home to find all this food just prepped up for the next few days to eat, right? So this is some uh, chicken slow cooked like for 12 hours uh, food take a look like, like chicken bone with rice and some veggies and onions and stuff just cooked for like 12 hours and we let it warm stay warm for like four hours that we we're eating like for the last two days and this was made about it was made three days ago, so this is the third day, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna heat this up, and the garnish of the mint and stuff that we've made, the mint and onion and mushroom, I'm gonna mix in with this, right? So let's just, there isn't that much of it, right? Very little. This was super yummy. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring a spatula. Spatula and get all this 
goodness into the bowl. so many dishes I'd be cleaning as we were cooking but since I'm making so many dishes no time to clean while we're cooking right so let's just heat this up it'll heat up speedy gonzalez because there isn't too much of it let's put this here I'm gonna read a couple of comments quick wise let's check it out thanks you Sean I'm so happy to finally catch one of your streams. Now I'm so hungry. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks, Anon. All right. Da, 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 da. I are one man portrays one da, 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 da. I recognize the face. That's gonna be good. Nice. All right. Daddy's in heaven. Wow, that's awesome. Nice, nice. I've missed a lot of uh, chit chat while we we're going ballistic with the multitasking. Cool. If you had any questions that I missed, please uh, post it again. We've slowed down now. Now it's like enjoying. We're gonna eat a little bit of soup. And with the dual, if you let it sit, the yogurt sort of separates from the the water or the soda and stuff right so before you drink it you give it a little shake and this is uh, one of the main drinks that people drink when they're eating like shish kebab and stuff like this you can actually buy this stuff in bottles they sell it both carbonated and not carbonated yogurt one I really like this I eat a lot of this wait I missed the drink what's that called it's called uh, in Persian they call it du in Armenian you call it tan uh, I don't know what it is in Arabic I'm pretty sure in Israel in Hebrew I don't know what you call it in Hebrew I'm pretty sure they have it as well I don't know I'm not 100% sure so it's a drink that they have in the Middle East and I think I'm pretty sure they have it in the northern northern africa as well and most likely parts of asia with afghanistan and most likely india as well okay i don't know if it there is uh any other uh sort of a staple drink in any of the countries outside of that area but it's basically yogurt okay so you put you take basically what we did we took for this glass we took this much yogurt right and then you we did half and half you could do it all water you could do it all soda what we ended up doing was doing this much water or put it to this high with water and then filled this much of it with soda and then you could also put cucumbers in there too but we don't because we have made the cucumber thing so and then you mix it up so the yogurt is not chunky it's all broken down really fine and then put mint dried mint in there and then salt a little bit of salt to, to your taste right and then you mix it up and it's a phenomenal drink if you're uh, in hot environments if you're thirsty the best uh, thirst quencher ever really okay the best thirst quencher ever check out the potatoes Super nice. I like the potatoes. 
Okay, this is heating up. My tummy is really happy right now. I was looking forward to this. Flipping heck, I actually just fell asleep for a while watching this. I think work is tiring me out. <laughs> Do you grow mint? Yeah, I had, we grow uh, a certain amount of mint here. So I harvest that for sure. But in the neighborhood, there's a lot of people that grow mint. Mint is weed, it grows like crazy. So, uh, and it loves, mint loves being trimmed, right? loves having the tops trimmed off because it splits off and grows more thicker and it propagates with its roots and stuff so we do grow mint and we uh, dry mint here's a video we put out a video if you take a look at that one here let me turn off this this video oops not that one this one this video that you see here uh, we put that video out like about month and a half ago or so where we I did a huge harvest at the end of the season and uh, I hung you know cut the mint uh, put a little rope around them floss actually and hang hang dry them and then we ended up jarring them and we ended up getting like five and a half I believe five and a half jars of this or six six jars of this right so there's a video out there if you just do chicho and mint it should pop up. Harvesting mint is really important for me. Uh, it's a it's mint, as you can tell. This is just some of the main dishes that we use mint for, right? And I may use up a lot of potatoes. I like potatoes, roasted potatoes, and stuff like this. With lamb, with meat, we end up using it. Uh, with yogurt, this eat a lot of it. So I go through a lot of mint. We just crack this open, right? and we went through half of it okay so we went through half a jar but usually we don't I don't usually end up making all mint dishes right and mint if you buy it in a store is very expensive which I find crazy because mint grows like weed And I'm gonna show you what we end up doing with the garnishes here. Here, let me transfer these guys over. We don't need these guys no more. Serious balancing act. Okay. So I'm just gonna transfer the soup over to this. Oh, that's a mushroom. Here, let's put the gnocchi aside. take down put this video up take the mint video thing down turn this guy turning this guy off we don't need this guy so I'm gonna take this video down um, oops, oops took the wrong one now take this video down nice All right so I'm just gonna transfer the soup in here okay this is chicken bone soup with the rice and it's just totally broken down For this type of soup, any 
any soup, strong soup like this, right? What we end up doing is we have mint here, dried mint, or fried, fried dried mint, right? That we just made earlier. So take a little bit of this, throw it in there. Right? That's a fair bit that I just put in. Take some mushrooms that we fried up, throw it in. With onions too, you can just take some of the onions, caramelized onions, and throw them in. You could do all three, you could do one, you could do two, you could do combination. Uh -huh. right. If you do your mathematics, you, you got six different combinations, three factorial, because you got three ingredients. Mix it all up. And especially for strong soups like this that are left over that you've been eating for like three days and stuff it gives it a different flavor so it it's like changes up the leftover you're making some something new but just adding a little bit something to it so you don't get sick of the same food right It's fantastic this was amazing soup really slow cooked soup it was so good so good for the tummy so good for winter very nice very nice All right. I'll take one more bite one more spoon Like we cooked it to a level where the bone is just powdery now, right? Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> did we cook everything? We did everything we wanted to get done. That's pretty good. That's a lot of dishes we made. Oh, that's fried meat. Fried mint it gives it um, it gives it a minty flavor for sure but it breaks down the green that it's not it's not overwhelming mint it's just nice heavy mint flavor inside the broth inside the soup right it's really good when you're mixing it up you look like you could teach me about the benefits of of uh, marijuana with a mash <laughs> mint with mushrooms uh, mint, uh, fried mint. Uh, there is tremendous benefits to cannabis of course right but like anything must be used appropriately if it's going to be used very nice so let's see how long did it take us to make all this food <laughs> let's check this out I think I need some more um, fresh mint tea or warm mint tea I'll replenish the top after. Hey Chicho, can you say hi to my dad? He just came over to say hi and he's watching you. Bare of Ishpasek Lavik. Lasachadam California. Epon Duh Sarkang, Tang Sarkang, Khamang. You have Majun. Uh, I I know how to call it in. Uh, from the sounds of it, you're Eastern, you're Turkish, Ar Ar uh, Armenian, Zara. So I'm not. I'm using a lot of Farsi words, uh, but Majun uh, Chamic, but Ban. Tutoh. Tut is uh, Persian. Mulberries with mulberries, cucumber, mint. Uh, a little bit of salt and walnuts 
this is a staple. I, in my part of the world, us Armenians, we eat it, the Persian Armenians. What else did we make? We made, we made fried potatoes. He's, <laughs> he's smiling and laughing. He has no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> Live streaming. Yeah. What's our lamb? Right? Delicious, delicious. Mad that we made four of these. I ate one, or I ate three quarters of one. I'm gonna finish the rest after we finish the stream. Oh yeah. We made gnocchi with feta and mint, olive oil. No salt needed. If the feta was salty enough. Fantastic, super delicious. We also made, let me take this down. We also made a big mess in the kitchen that I'm going to clean up. Fun stream, fun stream, fun stream. Had to organize this uh, to be able to do all this in a row. And we made, we didn't make a little bowl of yogurt thing. We made a big bowl of yogurt with malt berries. And this, this is gonna sit in the fridge for three days, I'll go through this. Two days, I'll go through this. Super delicious, super delicious. Okay. So that's about it, gang. I hope you enjoyed. I gotta remember what that dish was. Uh, the British dish with the potatoes that I got these potatoes left over. I'm gonna put them in the fridge, but uh, I'll try to look through the chat again to go through to figure out what the dish was that uh, uh, the people from the UK were saying uh, to do a little search to see how to make it. Sounded good. I'm not sure about the other one. <laughs> the, I forgot what the spot of tea said it was. It was fun. It was fun. Three days. Three days, two days, one day, eat it all now. <laughs> I would be fun. That would be too much, I think. Maybe my partner wouldn't be pleased if I ate all that. It's, I gotta share. That's All the food must be shared, must be shared. Fantastic. Fun stuff. How long have you been going at this? Let's check it out. Up time. Hopefully the stream didn't break at all. Yeah, it didn't break. Awesome. Awesome. That's fantastic. Sometimes the stream breaks from Twitch and I hope it wasn't laggy. I hope it wasn't laggy at all. Fun. Thanks for being here, gang. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and again, when you're cooking in the kitchen, do with it as you please, right? Um, this is to my taste. Uh, so if you want to reduce the salt, you reduce the salt. If you want to increase the yogurt, in the yogurt dish you increase the yogurt if you want to increase or decrease the cucumbers you decrease the cucumber mix it all up and the lamb i overcooked a little bit right i shouldn't have put it in i just wanted to show you guys when it's like broily up top of the lamb and it looks so good so good so i should have done that a little bit earlier right i cooked it a little bit too much but still tastes phenomenal just one day of marinating in garlic rosemary mint and that's where the mint comes in for the uh, for the lamb for this dish right mint olive oil and uh, a little bit of balsamic vinegar just mix it up and then you flip it in the morning so you can cook it in the for lunch in the afternoon right and both sides of the lamb get the marinade on there fantastic fun thanks for being here gang and i'll see you guys on Saturday, possibly, if you feel like talking Saturday evening, politics and economics. That's the last stream we got scheduled. And after that, we're looking towards the end of next week for more streams or not this weekend coming up, but next weekend 
more streams coming up okay uh i hope you have a fantastic day i'll see you guys there bye for now